On June 24, the U.S. Defense Security Cooperation Agency authorized the sale of a dozen Lockheed Martin F-16 Block 70 seconds jet fighters and associated weapons to the Philippines totaling $2.43 billion. Such a sale could fulfill Manila's requirement long-standing plans to procure multi-role fighters, MRF. However, Manila could still decide to procure purportedly cheaper Saab JAS-39 Gripen C, D-Jets. Defense Secretary Delphine Lorenzana remarked regarding the F-16 offer, it's very expensive, so the PAF is evaluating others. But for several reasons, the MRF procurement is the F-16s to lose. Rebuilding Manila's Fast Jet Capability the offer, which awaits U.S. congressional authorization, is no easy lift for Manila. It's equivalent to slightly over half of the Philippines' 2021 defense budget of 206 billion pesos, $4.23 billion. Specifically, the DSCA approved the sale of 10 single-seat F-16C and two two-seat F-16D Block 70 seconds multi-role fighters, also sometimes called F-16 Versus or Vipers, along with 15 APG-83 radars and F-100 or F-110 turbofan engines to equip them, leaving three spares each. The package also includes 24 AIM-120C7 Beyond Visual Range Air-to-Air Missiles, Laser JDAM Guided Bomb Kits, and Sniper or Lightning Targeting Pots. Separately, the agency authorized sales of 24 AIM-9X Block II Sidewinder short-range air-to-air missiles worth $43 million and 12 AGM-84L1 Harpoon II air-launched anti-ship missiles, $120 million, of which an F-16 can carry two. This follows an April 2020 authorization for AH-64E Apache Guardian or AH-1Z Viper attack helicopters, totaling $1.5 billion and $450 million, respectively, which has not attracted orders so far, as it exceeded the PAF's budget of $256 million for attack helicopters. In 2005 the Philippines retired its last remaining fast jets, aging F-5 Freedom Fighters. But in the last decade, Beijing's aggressive actions in support of claims to sovereignty over islands across the South China Sea has led Manila to increase defense spending and regenerate its fighter capability. Rather than immediately seeking high-performance fighters, the PAF instead procured a dozen Kai FA-50 Golden Eagle supersonic light fighters from Korea. Based in part on F-16 technology, the relatively inexpensive FA-50 could serve things that we're doing down here.